guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a makeup haul. I know I only posted one in the last month, but that was um, kind of everything that I've got in between June when I went to IMAT and um, the start of November. November was my birthday and I got some money and some vouchers to buy some goodies. So this is a mixture of higher end stuff, obviously from MAC and some other brands, and it's also some drugstore as well. So let's just dig into what I purchased with my birthday spends. I'll start with MAC first because I've shown you the bag. Um, one of my friends gave me a gift certificate for MAC. Um, so I decided to go for a couple of things. The first thing is that I've been looking for a while for a kind of like lightweight everyday foundation. Um, and a lot of people have recommended to me to go for the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. So this can be worn literally as a setting powder if you'd like it to be. Or you can build it up like I am actually wearing it today to be kind of a light to medium coverage. Which is exactly what I wanted. So if I pop it open, this is the shade that they matched me in. And actually what surprised me is this is different than the concealers from MAC that I have. It's a different shade. So this I am in NC20. And I've always been in the NWs in the concealer but it does match me really well she did try it on in the match store so I could be sure um, the way that I've been applying it I've, and like I say I've worn it once or twice is I'm using the pad that comes underneath to just build up to that medium coverage so so far good thought things about this and the people that recommend it to me were good to recommend it because I do really like it if you've been on my channel for a while now, you know I'm trying to slowly kind of build up my confidence and my collection when it comes to lip products. I've always strayed away from lip products because I'm really self-conscious about my teeth. Um, so I've never really wanted to draw attention to this part of my mouth. But I really want to try and get more confident about it. So I picked up another MAC lipstick to add to the other, only other MAC lipstick, MAC lipstick that I have. So this is my second one. Um, I had a couple in mind when I went in there. Um, and two, one of them wasn't in stock. Um, and one of them when I saw it in real, I didn't really like it. Um, and then the lady that worked in there was um, suggesting some to me. And this one is called Patisserie. And again, it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. So it's a nice nude. But it's slightly more of a, like a, I don't know, like a corally nude. When she hold, held it up against the other one that I have, which is Cream Cup. Cream Cup is a lot more pink. Whereas this one was a lot more like neutrally nude in colour. Um, and it's really nice. I love the MAC lipstick formulations. They just feel really nice on my lips. And they last quite a while. Um, so good things so far from that one. And this one is called Patisserie. Should we do the other high-end stuff first and get that out of the way? Um, I have been a big fan of the Urban Decay with Scandinavia setting sprays for a while now. I've literally, you'll see in an upcoming empties video, um, run out of my D-Slip um, setting spray, which is my favourite, favourite, favourite. Um, and I couldn't really justify it at the moment going out and spending on a big bottle, so I got one of the Dulux sample sizes. Um, like I say Urban Decay D-Slip, if that's going to focus... And I use this actually, use setting spray twice when I'm putting on a full face of makeup. I'll put on my foundation and then I'll spray the setting spray. And then once I put all my powders on, I'll then spray again. Which might be why I go through it quite quickly. This isn't the one I use every day. I have a cheaper drugstore one that I use every day. Um, but this is the one that I tend to use if I'm doing a full face or if I'm really going for the makeup look and I need it to set for a long time. So for now, I've just gone for, went for the smaller size, but... Hopefully someone might buy me a full size for Christmas. Hint, hint. To my husband. Then I was in TK Maxx and I came across a lot of high-end brands that started to appear in TK Maxx. I spoke about it in my last makeup haul that I found Too Faced product. And they also now have Makeup Forever in there. Um, and this is a Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense Lipstick. And they are normally $17.99 down to 6 So if you can get your hands on any of these, I would highly recommend it. There was three shades when I was in mine. It was like a bright, bright red. A br bright deep purple which I was tempted to get and there was this colour and this is just in a number and it's called number 19 and this is what it looks like so it's kind of similar to the one that I picked up from MAC but this is a lot more um intense and pigmented and it's a little bit more orangey so I've yet to actually wear this on my lips but I am looking forward to it and giving a, a makeup forever lipstick a try Last but not least, on the high-end version, I don't know if any of you have seen in your local boots, the one that's near to me is quite a big store, so I do get quite a lot of benefit products in there. They are doing this gift option for Christmas. So this is four Dulux sample sizes and this lovely 
I'm not going to get any use out of it, but she forced me to have it. Um, stocking, and this is all for £15, which I thought was not a bad deal at all. I'm probably going to go back and get some for one of my girlfriends for Christmas. So the ones that I picked up were um, the Bad Gal Lash, and I have used this before in a tiny little sample from... Um, but, uh, birch box, I forgot what that was called, but this is the size that you get in there, um, and I do like this one, I do actually like all of the Benefit mascaras actually, thinking about it, um, but yeah, I thought I would do that. I also got myself another professional. I don't think I've ever bought a professional. I always get them in the kits and the sample sizes, so I got one of those too. I picked up the That Gal Brightening pa uh, Primer, which I've never used before, um, but I've heard good things for, about it. I'm always a bit um, dubious because I don't normally like kind of like, I don't know, like brightening, highlighting primers, but I thought I would give it a go because it's just in, like I say, one of these larger sample sizes. So I picked up that too. And the fourth item I got, I'm very excited because I actually ran, ran out my tiny tester a little while ago. So I went back and got the high beam. If you can believe it, this is quite a generous size when you see the one that I went through recently. That was absolutely minuscule. But I do really love high beam and I kind of prefer liquid um, highlighter to powder. Um, but yeah, if you think, um, some of the, 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 let me get my words out. Um, they have a variety of other ones. There were some lip products, there was some of the that Benny tints and there was Posy tint. A lot of different varieties. So if you know somebody or you want one for yourself, I would recommend checking out Benefit in your local boots. Finishing up with Drugstore, um, I talk about this all the time, I'm going to repeat myself. This is the Colour Lash in Clear by Collection 2000. This is what I use to set my eyebrows in place for, I would say, 10 years now I've been using this product. It's £2, it lasts a really nice time, it is a great eyebrow setting liquid product. I love this. If you need something, do not go out and spend lots of money on something because that is amazing. Last but not least, I got, well, I actually went over to NYX because NYX has now recently been into Boots the Drugstore um, and I kind of wanted to try some of their blushes, but a couple of the ones that I wanted to buy weren't there. I only actually have one NYX blush and that's in their old formulation, but then I did see that they had a blush palette and this is called the Sweet, Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. Now, the only thing that's a little bit of a bummer with this is that there is no indication of what these shades are and it's really hard to get into. So these are the eight shades that you get in here. There's a mixture of matte and there's a mixture of a few, like on this side, these two here in particular. They're a little bit more shimmery. Um, but none of them look like they've got any glitter in, which is quite nice. So I thought this was a really nice way to try out eight blushes. I think this was 15 or 17 pounds. So also really good value for money when an individual one is six or seven. So I would definitely recommend either getting this if you want to try any NYX blushes and these would also make a great Christmas gift. So that was the Sweet Cheeks palette, blush palette by NYX. So that was everything that I picked up with my birthday money and vouchers this year. As you can see, I have very generous friends and family. So let me know down below if you've tried out any of the products that I've mentioned today and let me know what you think. And I will speak to you guys very soon. Bye.